I've let Dr. Mitter any objection? There is no objection. Thank you. Question number, e, uh, number 10, Phil Twype. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, to the Minister of Transport, what involvement, meetings or contact did his predecessor have with Infratil New Zealand Bus or Snapper Services regarding Auckland's integrated ticketing system? And what involvement did the government have in the decision to include Snapper in the project? The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Uh, Mr Speaker, I'm advised that my predecessor did not have any meetings, contacts or involvement with Infratil New Zealand Bus or Snapper specifically on Auckland integrated ticketing projects. Uh, he did meet with these organisations on the 12th of December 2008 with Infratil, on the 19th of February 2009 with New Zealand Bus regarding the Public Transport Management Act, on the 18th of June 2009 with New Zealand Bus at the launch of the Wellington Flyer Service, on the 3rd of March 2010 with Lloyd Morrison, and on the 24th of June 2011 with New Zealand Bus at the launch of their fleet replacement program. It is possible that integrated ticketing was raised at these events. Ministers, though, have no involvement in the decision to include Snapper in the Auckland Integrated Fares Scheme. Supplementary. Phil Twyford. Did his predecessor discuss in any of those meetings with NZ Bus and Fratil or Snapper the proposal for the Snapper card to be rolled out in Auckland in advance of the integrated ticketing system? The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Uh, Mr Speaker, the only uh, involvement that Ministers have had in this is to insist with NZTA, New Zealand Transport Agency, that uh, the systems they put in place were flexible. Mr Speaker, that Ministers have had no involvement in the decision to include Snapper in the integrated system. Phil Twyford. What actions did his predecessor take that led him to say to reporters yesterday that the government was only trying to be fair to Infratil and Snapper in allowing the Snapper card to be rolled out in advance of the integrated ticketing system. The Honourable Jerry Brown. Mr Speaker, in order to answer that, I think it only fair that I state what the question was. And the question uh, related to uh, why has the government not done something about this? And I simply said that uh, given the negotiations that have occurred between uh, Auckland Transport, uh, New Zealand Transport Agency and Snapper, uh, where the date for the, uh, the, the, the go button on the integrated ticket system, ticketing system has been extended right out to now the 30th of November 2012, uh, that it was in fact uh, in order that they could have more time to integrate their system uh, with the Thuddy system, uh, which will be the base of the, the, the operation. Phil Twyford. Did his predecessor intervene on behalf of Infratil to pressure the Auckland Regional Transport Agency and subsequently Auckland Transport and the LTNZ boards to allow the snapper card to be rolled out in advance of the integrated ticketing system? The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Uh, no, Mr Speaker, that's my, not my understanding. The member may want to take that up with uh, Auckland Transport. Question number 11, Jamie Lee Ross. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Labour and asks, what